Hello. For this demonstration, we're going to show you how to wire the larger style grade one contacts, which would be more typically installed on commercial premises. In comparison to what I would class as a domestic version, they are a lot larger and allow you for a lot larger distance fitting between the doors, etc. So what we're going to do is undo the two screws at the top and the things that we're looking for here is, particularly on a commercial because they'll be graded systems, is the little sticker inside that tells you what grade it is and this little spike here. What that little spike's there for is that when you put the lid back on the contact is that it presses down here and we've got some contacts there that form a temper to tell your panel when the lid is open and closed. So we've got the two outer terminals there which are spares for jointing the cables together. We've got these two next terminals here which are connected to the reed switch which is the part that goes open and closed when you're opening and closing your door and like I just said this one here is if somebody tries taking your lid off to tamper with the system then it will go off. What we're going to do for this demonstration is we're going to be using Enderline resistors. For this example, we're going to be using 2K2, which are, if you look at the colour bands of that one, if you can see it, is going to be red, red, red and gold. And then we're also going to use a 4K7, which is going to be yellow, purple and red with gold. Similar to the last demonstration, what we're going to do is about halfway up the legs on one side, we're going to put the resistors apart and we're just simply going to twist the middle of them together like so. And what we'll then do is we'll put that one leg underneath the screw just there and we'll tighten up one side. Now with these variation of resistors it's important that we get the 2K2 which is the one with all the red bands for the tamper which is going to be connected to the lid and the one with the purple line is for the contact so that needs to go to the other side of the reed switch there. So we're going to bend that down there out of the way and then what I'm going to do is we're going to put the temp one so it goes to the lid and this side we can actually tighten up this side like so. We'll trim that off there. So we're left now with two terminals which is going to be this contact cable contact terminal here and this tamper terminal here. As before I'm going to use red and black for my circuit wires so I'm just going to strip them back a little bit like so just about a centimetre or so and again in between your fingers just roll them together. On the tamper terminal there we're going to wrap it around and tighten it up and the same again on that contact terminal there. We'll trim these off like so. And now what we've got is from this side we've got the black cable that goes to one side of the reed switch. Also the resistor with the purple band on it. So what will happen is when your door is closed like so and this reed switch is closed it's going to come through to here it's going to come along the 2K2 resistor to here, 
through your lid if it's closed onto the red and back to the panel. Showing the panel you've got 2K2 resistor there showing a closed circuit. As soon as this goes out of the way then the circuit has to go through the 4K7 resistor back to here through the 2K2 resistor through the lid tamper on the red back to the panel. You can tell in the panel it's going to jump up to 6K9 resistance which tells the panel the alarm's gone open circuit and to react accordingly until the door closes again. If somebody opens the lid this switch here goes open circuit and that actually just tells the panel that it's gone open circuit which the panel will see as tamper <coughs> and set the alarm off accordingly. On the side here we have a little knockout that we can take off. <coughs> it allows a cable entry like so which you can just break off with your cutters. If we don't trap any cables, then fasten the lid up and drop some. Just bear in mind the arrows here on the lid. Just try and get it to line up best you can with the same arrow on the magnet. And I hope that was of use. Thanks.